winners, the Splatfest is donezo! And it's time to see who won the first custom Splatfest, Crash Bandicoot vs. Spyro the Dragon. We had over 65 people sign up for this Splatfest, which is a crazy number for our first custom Splatfest. I can't thank you guys enough for signing up and participating in this event. I want to give a special thanks to everyone who actually sat down and played. We managed to get 25 battles over the entire day. Many of these matches were super close, so both teams gave it their all. But that's enough of that. It's time to see which team was most popular. And the popularity goes to... Team Spyro with 52.3% of the popular vote. This was actually really close in numbers. Despite that though, we had a tougher time finding players on Team Crash over the stream and in the Splatfest itself. Making battles take a little longer to begin. But it's not over yet. Even the team can still win this. Popularity is a different thing. Now it's time to see who won the most battles. The victory winner goes to... Team Spyro with 69.6% of the wins. Team Spyro demolished the Splatfest and won many of the battles over the entire Splatfest. It was crazy watching them win battle after battle after battle. I mean, Team Crash gave it their all too. They won a good 7 to 8 of all the battles over the entire Splatfest. But there are no hard feelings either way. It's time to add the scores and find out who won the Splatfest in the end. The score is determined by popularity plus the number of wins multiplied by 5. Whichever team gets the most points after that wins the Splatfest. And the winner of the Splatfest is... Boom! Team Spyro with 400.3 points out of 600. Congratulations to both teams putting up an amazing show to watch. I guess Team Crash could have had a decent chance if they didn't drag on their feet all the time. <laughs> I know, my puns are bad. If you participated in the Splatfest, the feedback channel is now open in the Custom Splatfest Discord server and the comment section for this video. Let us know how we can improve for the next Custom Splatfest, which should begin in a couple months or something. It's time to reignite the next project. It's going to be one insane adventure.